quickly explain why I didn't post last week. One, it's because I'm lazy and I thought I'd have time, but I've been trying to catch up to Moggy, and I should probably focus on my Bleach reviews instead. What's up guys, my name is Danny Anime and we're going to be talking about Bleach chapter 645 and 46. Last week in Bleach, we had Shunsui Kyaku versus Lilii Bottle. Quickly, I just want to go over this. They're playing some sort of red light, green light game. That's Shunsui's uh, Shikai, I guess. And his Bankai, it, it affects a certain amount of area and anyone in that area within that range will get affected by it. And the reason Nano was able to stay with him is because she's been able to get used to his Bankai and his speed and his games. So she being around him, she kind of understands what his Shikai does, but not having seen his Bankai, maybe it's a good idea that she's not around. And we do get a little bit of their fight last chapter, and it seems like Lilia's gun is the ability to pierce through anything. So let's see about that and how soon as we can get around that with maybe one of his games somehow. Now on to this week's chapter real quickly. All right, so we get Shinji and the rest of the squad that left, <laughs> that left Shinji and like, well, let's go. That is a typical Kubo move there, because he is kind of like the troll mangaka right there. So that's like hinting like, hey guys, I am a troll, and I know I'm a troll. So props to you, Oda, for like kind of recognizing what you are doing. And then it does seem kind of serious to fight this chapter instead of like last chapter, how it was like sort of funny, but at the same time kind of serious. And But this, uh, it was mainly like kind of funny last week. This week, it's very serious. He's like, oh, you got your eyes. He said the, the action scenes this week were great. and the panels were great this week. I really kind of enjoyed this chapter of Bleach and I was really kind of looking forward to Bleach. Some weeks I don't really look forward to it, but this week I was actually really looking forward to this fight and it did live up to some of my expectations and we got to see Lily Bottles vault standing. His vault standing like, no one, no one makes me open my eyes three times. And I mean, we get to see him get almost slashed, his gun barrel cut completely off, so it's like, it's slashed off. And then in the next panel, it grows back, so his reishi, he says his reishi ability is, his arrow is sort of to regrow his gun, so... Good job. Good job. Anyways, with that, Shunsui seems to be overtaking him somewhat, and having opened his eyes three times, he activates is Volt standing. Now, if you guys have ever seen Neon Genesis Evangelion, it looks very similar to that, and I don't know if that's a reference to that, and I've been trying to think of something how it could be referenced, and maybe some, some of the techniques from that, but I don't seem to think of anything that could really be related, and it seems like some sort of godly figure or some sort of angel. Also, if you guys have checked out those giant bombs Datara threw in Naruto, let's take a quick look at those. So that's what I kind of think it looks like. And then we do see Shunsui get attacked somehow. I don't know how he get, gets attacked. Like maybe there are invisible bullets and somehow with one of his games, he's gonna have to overcome that. And hopefully we do get to see his Bankai. And if his Bankai affects everyone in his range, that's pretty OP for a Bankai. And we gotta see it because this is probably the final arc and probably one of the last fights we'll see Shunsui use and, or in, in one of these fights. So, I mean, we gotta see his bond guy, bro. We gotta see his bond guy, Kubo. Or Kubo's gonna be like, yeah, nah. Hey, can we see Shunsui's bond guy? Um, I still haven't thought of it after 14 years. I'm gonna bet you that's Kubo's answer right there. So, watch out for that. Or I could be wrong the next week we do see his bond guy, because right now it looked like he just got wrecked. Or that could have been one of his shadows, we don't know. I mean, like, he says, if you get your eyes off me, while he was transforming, I mean, his eyes, and, you know, in most shonen power-ups, they go, like, ah, and they have this blast of energy come all around them. So, you know, like, him being a troll and Kubo being a troll, I mean, that could have taken up some time, and, like, while he was doing that, that could be a shadow, so I don't know what's going on there. Anyways, guys, make sure to like, comment, and click that subscribe button. It would greatly be appreciated, and peace out, guys.